What's up guys, Deathwish back with another video today, and today is a very special milestone video. Guys, we are going to be doing our 1,000 subscriber video. If you guys are looking at the channel, we have uh, passed the 1,000 subscriber mark at this point in time, but I do want to uh, make this video. What I've done is I have asked in our community Discord, I have asked everybody that is a part of the community Discord to go through and to um, everybody, I basically gave everybody about a week to go in there and ask one question that they wanted answered and to be featured on this video and I would pick out the top 10 uh, questions and I would answer them on this video for the special milestone video. So that's what I've done and I've got 10 questions here. We're gonna go through all of them. I'm gonna put the questions on screen and we are going to get them answered. And then what you guys see in the background here is this is some um, footage of our most recent Moscow event that ended a couple of weeks ago. I am just running bunkers doing repute here, so I've gotten. Uh, I didn't just want it to be a stagnant video. I wanted to give you guys something to watch while we, while we talk here and, and uh, do this video. So, with that being said, guys, I just want to take a moment here and I want to thank each and every one of you guys, whether the, whether you guys have been uh, supporting this channel uh, from the very very beginning or whether you guys just subscribed today. I can't thank each and every one of you guys enough because without each and every one of you guys, we wouldn't be where we're at today. We started this channel at the very end of January. I believe it was January 29th, and we made our first official video on February 2nd, and between that time and now, we've been able to gain all of this traction and, and really been able to build a community already around this channel and, and, and geared towards Warpath, guys, and it's been absolutely incredible. It's been a blast. It's been a, a lot of learning and, and things like that along the way for me, but I'm so happy to do it. I'm so glad to be able to do it, and I hope I continue to be able to do this and to be able to provide valuable content, uh, Warpath-specific content for you guys for a very long time to come. So again, I can't thank you guys enough. With that being said as well, we're going to be rolling out some new things that are exciting for the channel now that we have officially been accepted into the YouTube Partner Program. That's going to give us a lot of new features and things like that on the channel that I can use and utilize to be able to give you guys even more value than I already uh, have been trying to do to this point. How I can do that now is I've unlocked um, YouTube memberships, so that way you guys are basically, for any of you guys that are familiar with Twitch, YouTube memberships are basically like Twitch subs right? There are memberships that you guys can pay for monthly that help support the channel, help support me. And that way I can also give you guys, uh, you know, it'll give you guys during live streams, uh, loyalty badges. Uh, it'll, it'll, the loyalty badges will be by your guys' names and comments on just actual videos. I can give you guys access to early content, member only live streams, things like that. So there's a lot of cool and exciting things that we can do through that program as well. So any of you guys, once we get that rolled out, that do want to support me and support the channel even further, you guys are going to be more than welcome to do that. And um, I will be super grateful for every one of you guys that does uh, become a part of that as well. We are also going to be rolling out a Patreon. We've got five different tiers on Patreon, uh, stemming from a dollar fifty for the uh tier one all the way up to uh, $25 for the fifth tier. And we've got multiple tiers in between. And I will have the Patreon linked in all the video descriptions moving forward, as well as it will be linked in the about section on the channel. So you guys can head over there and take a look at the uh, perks you guys are going to get there as well. They're going to be different from the YouTube membership perks, but they're different prices. They offer different things. So you guys can kind of pick and choose whatever makes the most sense for you and what you guys think will give you the most value for your money. So again, that's only if you guys want to, that's not a requirement, but anybody that does want to support me and support the channel even further is going to be able to do that. And I will be incredibly grateful for that as well and every 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 bit of that is going to be reinvested in some form back into uh the channel and the content that i'm being able being able to provide for you guys so uh it will be going to good use so with that being said let's go ahead and hop into the video here and let's start answering these questions so question number one is going to come from captain hook he says what who is the man the myth the legend death wish so who I am, my name is Chase. I am in real estate. So when you guys, uh, outside of the Warpath content creation side, I am in real estate and I am also actually a private baseball instructor. I played uh, college baseball. I ended up getting hurt, having to have my arm, uh, 
operated on. And that was kind of the beginning of the end of my uh, my baseball career, so to speak. But that's kind of who I am outside of Warpath and outside of content creation. Uh, real estate and baseball are kind of my my jam. So that's 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 me in a nutshell. I'm from the United States, specifically live in uh, Arkansas. So I don't know if any of you guys are also from Arkansas. If you are, let me know in the comments below. We'll have a little bit of Arkansas love. Question number two here is going to come from Mattias, I believe. I'm, I'm going to butcher that name, and I apologize. But the question is, is why did you decide to become a content creator for Warpath? And the answer to that is um, kind of just... Uh, happened all at once to be honest with you i don't really have a clear answer for that but I, what i what i can tell you is I, I was kind of looking around and i was seeing that there was a uh lack of of content creators for lack of a better word for the warpath community right warpath is a newer game um it's it's a fun game it's right it's it's uh just kind of like rise of kingdom there's just it's a different style of game but the same kind of concept and there's there's a lot of big and and well-known and, and very informative content creators over on the like rise of kingdom side of things as well as in other games as well but i just didn't see a ton of that going on in warpath and again it's a newer game so kind of to be expected but i wanted to step in and fill that role i felt like i'm uh, i feel like i'm a pretty knowledgeable player i've got a lot of knowledgeable people around me um, and we we kind of ping pong ideas back and forth off each other all the time we're always trying to learn new things and and improve and and things like that so i feel like that that i can offer each one of you guys value and i can also make uh you know i can i can provide you guys information and value on the things that i did or did not do early on that were good or bad that i can help you guys avoid making the same mistakes that i did and that way it'll hopefully make the game and the progression of the game for each one of you guys uh more enjoyable so question number three is going to come from amper what is the biggest fight slash war you have been thrown server wars count so i would have to go with back in server 13 the biggest battle or biggest war uh that i've been a part of was uh the battle of detroit back in level three cities when they first opened we fought an alliance called hell they were hell on wheels that was their alliance name they had their main alliance and they also had multiple sub alliances and we had some of their we had uh, i think two or three of their sub alliances in the city as well as some of their strongest main alliance fighters that it came into the city too and it was our alliance and then we had some ally help too and we ended up capture we ended up beating them and we ended up capturing the city and that was the the, the main level three city we held uh throughout the entire duration of our time in uh server 13 so i would say that would be the biggest war i have been a part of in uh the server question number four is going to come from bradley what it, who who is the best fighter you have met in your fights and for your r4 also i think what he's asking is who is the best fighter i have been been around and then who is the best r4 i've been around and the answer to that question is going to be for the best fighter i'm gonna have to have to say two here i know i'm probably only supposed to say one i'm gonna answer two and my answer to that is going to be josh and cap t both of those guys are just absolutely incredible fighters um they've they've taught me a ton about the game taught me how to fight and they've really we, we, we've kind of really bounced a lot of ideas off each other and really helped uh helped each other um improve so i would say best fighters are going to be josh and cap t and then for best r4 i'm also going to nominate three people uh the same two josh and cap t for r4 slash r5 uh back when we used to run our server 13 alliance mrk uh those guys are incredible uh in leadership they're both uh in leadership roles in their actual jobs in real life and it and, and, and it shows and it translates well over into into the game they're extremely fair extremely honest extremely transparent like you guys just can't ask for better guys to follow uh and and have lead you and then the third one is going to be uh one of our uh, server 14 guys it's going to be jp he is our unr5 guys i love jp there's nothing i wouldn't do for jp guys he is phenomenal when you guys are in alliance all you can ask for out of your r5 is honesty transparency and jp absolutely gives us that he's he's values every single person's opinion he doesn't just talk to the r4s about things he talks to everybody about things he very very much values everybody's opinion and ideas he gathers all the information that he possibly can and then he makes the best decision from there he possibly can and i would say to date he's done a pretty good job about making the right decisions because as an alliance uh we have been very very successful so 
Question number five is going to come from Puzz. What's one thing you wish you could go back and do differently when you started the game? The one thing I could go back, if I could go back and redo it, the one thing I would say that I would do differently would be focusing on leveling up officers faster. So early on in the game, I did not realize the actual importance of officers in terms of their actual levels. I, for a long time, guys, I made a bonehead move and I literally did not even do officer missions. It was just annoying to me to have to go through and pick officers for the missions and blah, blah, blah. And weight and all that other stuff so i just didn't do it guys like i would buy the xp books out of the the vip store each week at reset and things like that but other than that i really didn't do anything with the officers leveling up officers and leveling up their skills through statues it just wasn't uh registering to me early on how important the officers are luckily since then i caught on early enough that i've been able to gain a lot of ground and i've got a ton of officers maxed in level 60 and things like that i would say i would probably have more than the average person in terms of officers leveled up uh in level 60 as well as maxed out on skills too but that would be one thing guys the the importance of officers is is unbelievable if you guys are not making your officers probably your main priority especially early on you should start officers are the backbone and the key to your success as a player within the game as well as your units so question number six is going to come from scorched person where and how did you get the name death wish uh to be honest that is a good question one i really don't have an answer to i i i i've obviously heard the name before it wasn't like a name of somebody else or at least not that i know of but it just kind of fit the fit the vibe to be honest it's a war game i thought hey you know here we go this will be kind of a fun 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 little name to 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 have and and it will kind of fit the fit the vibe of the game and and that's kind of that so not super exciting answer but that's I, I don't have necessarily a great answer for that but that's that's where it came from it was kind of just random question number seven is going to come from hannibal 42 asks if you had to migrate to one server which one would you migrate to and why the the answer to that is i have actually already migrated servers for those of you that uh, are unfamiliar i actually started out in server 13 the account i play on is my main account it's the only account that i play on i started in server 13 when the game released on ios back in march of 2021 uh, and as since then i have uh, since transferred with a lot of our other 313 crew uh, to server 14 we have joined the un alliance in server 14 so the one one server I would uh, transfer to is the one that I did transfer to, and that's server 14. Now, and guys, I please understand, I'm not saying that server 14 uh, is is the only good server out there, and I'm not saying that um, oh, I'm not saying anything negative towards any other servers. But there's a lot of servers that are not even available for me to transfer. They're locked due to times uh, that the server has been open and things like that. So there's that variable, as well as there's just a lot of other great alliances and servers out there that I don't know anything about or I'm not a part of. But Server 14 to me, I've known about Server 14. I've known about TO1. I've known about UN. I've competed against them in, in previous conquest events. I know what they're about, uh, and, and I and I like what they've they've got to offer, and, and I find a lot of value in that. So Server 14 is is my pick on that. Question number eight is going to come from Shandor. Where do you think Warpath will be heading in the future? My my. Um, my answer to that is going to be uh, it's going to take the trajectory that uh, it's kind of already already headed. It's going to be headed towards a more modern feel. However, I don't think it's going to lose that full like World War Two esque vibe. I think back in server cities, it's still going to be geared more towards the World War Two esque vibes. And I think the modern units are going to play more of a role and a factor in the conquest events. So I think there's going to be that fine balance. I also think at some point in the future, they're going to add other countries other factions whatever you want to call them because there's a lot of other countries out there that participated in world war ii and other wars that happened uh you know after world war ii that offer a lot of other units and things like that so there's an entire like pool of of countries and units and things like that that they've not even tapped into so i think that the the potential of warpath and where they could go is pretty pretty impressive and kind of uh, unlimited honestly there's so many things that they could continue to do to improve the game question number nine is going to come from um of avenger uh if you had to start over again which officer would you focus on both air force and ground so the if i had to start over again the one ground force officer i would i would prioritize would be antonina the one uh air force officer i would prioritize would be brisk eagle question number 10 and the final question on our list here is going to come from s6 ww89 yes what are your top three favorite units uh top three favorite units are going to be liberty medium liberty artillery and vanguard anti-tank gun those are going to be my top three units 
So with that being said, that is question number 10. That is going to wrap up our 1,000 subscriber question video, milestone video, whatever you want to call it, guys. Again, I just can't thank each and every one of you guys enough. For those of you that have been on the channel and been supporting me since since the early days or in the ones of you that may have been subscribed for a week, guys, I appreciate all of you guys. Seriously, what we're doing here is something very special. I think that this has got a lot of potential and I can't wait to continue to tap into that potential and see where we can take this. But I, every one of you guys I want every one of you guys a part of this journey with me because without without all of you guys, this journey is not possible. So I can't thank you guys enough. And, and, and please, if you're not in the community discord server, the link is in the description on all my videos. It's in the pinned comment on all of my videos. It's in the about section on the channel. So the link is going to be in multiple places for you to find. If for some reason you guys can't, the link doesn't work, whatever, let me know in the comments below and I will make sure I get you guys a fresh link. But uh, to my knowledge, all the links work just fine. Um, so there, there should be no issue there. Uh, if you, I, I give a lot of information over there. We've got a ton of people from all over Warpath, all different servers, all different alliances. So tons of, tons of very incredibly smart people over there sharing tons of awesome and, for, and helpful information. So we'd love to have you a part of that server. We're closing in on 400 members. Uh, let's push, try to push that to 500 members. I'd love to get you guys in and get you guys a part of that. Uh, be expecting a lot more uh, streams moving forward. I'm going to be releasing a stream schedule here as well. Pretty soon in the near future, I'll be, be, be uh, releasing that as well in the community, di community Discord. And then also, uh, please be on the lookout for the memberships on the channel as well as uh, the Patreon links. Again, you guys can kind of go through, look at the look at the uh, perks and things like that that both of those those avenues are going to offer see which one makes sense for you guys and if you guys do want to continue to support me and support the channel in in further ways um, then those are those are two avenues that you can take to do that so i really do appreciate you guys um, and i will catch you guys on the next one